Okay, here we got the bouleometer. It's uh, generally used to measure the alcohol content in wine. But we're not going to do that in your lab. What we're doing is we're using it to measure the vapor liquid, vapor liquid equilibrium data for ethanol and cyclohexane. So here we've got the reboiler. We just call it the, the pot usually, where we're boiling the mixture we've got. The vapor comes up through this area up into the condenser here where it all condenses, falls back down through here, and then is fed back into the reboiling pot. And here we can take samples of the distillate, and here we can take samples of the liquid. The distillate tells us kind of where our, what our vapor composition is, and this can tell us what our liquid composition is. Now to get this thing started, first we need to turn on the cooling unit, which is this bad boy right here. We just turn it on and it's already set to 10 degrees, which is where we need our condenser to be operating. You want it to be to hit that temperature long before you turn on the reboiler here. The way you turn this puppy on is you first turn this switch on and then push start. And it'll try to heat it up to the moment that it starts boiling and then it'll just hold that temperature. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. All right, so with the experiment, we're trying to find some parameters for a vapor-liquid equilibrium. And with those parameters, we're going to find the Wilson coefficients for this mixture. And with those, we can find out how this, the, how this will mix, and we can design a distillation tower off that data. So the biggest problem we tend to run into when running this thing is when we're collecting the liquid down here to try to get its composition. You notice that the distillate is coming down through right here. And so if you're not careful, you can end up getting some of the distillates in there contaminating your liquid and you'll end up just reading the distillate composition. So what we do is we first open this valve this way so it only drains from here and we purge it about 15 to 20 milliliters into a waste receptacle and then, only then, do we take our liquid sample. After we take the samples of the distillate and the, the bottom's composition, we come here, we, we insert the sample, we insert the sample into this um, receptacle right here. We put the lid over it. We fill about halfway full, put the lid over it, and all you do is hit start. It'll give you the refractive index, after which we go and we have an Excel sheet provided to us on the problem statement, and we use that to convert that to composition.